3 million years ago, Homininians started to nap stone tools to cleave meat off carrion or to break bones to extract the marrow. The Stone Age has begun. After 1 million years, their descendants, Homo, made simple pebble stone tools, with a few flakes chipped off with a hammerstone, and used them in butchering. They had thick body hair, but were taller, averaging 135 centimeters, 4.4 feet, and had an increasingly generalized diet. After around 200,000 years, Homo erectus spread from Swartkrins in Africa, to Shanchen in Asia, lost most of their body hair, and became much taller, at 165 centimeters, 5.4 feet. They hunted and gathered in coordinated groups, eating medium to large animals, such as bovines or elephants, and they also cared for injured or sick group members. After 200,000 years, these hunter-gatherers reached Sedif in North Africa. Around that time, occasionally, Homo erectus started to use fire from wildfires for cooking. Within 70,000 years, Homininians settled in Legong, Malaysia. After 30,000 years, a population of hunter-gatherers arrived at Damani Sea, in Georgia, over the Levantine Corridor. Some 40,000 years later, Homo erectus made Acheulean stone tools, like hand axes with sharper edges, including bifacial tools, such as picks, knives, and cleavers. Within 160,000 years, they inhabited Java. Some 30,000 years later, Lazignan Lasibi in Western Europe was first populated. The flake tradition spread across Southern Europe through the Balkans. Within 70,000 years, Homo erectus settled at Tirumpakam in southern India. 100,000 years later, Homininians arrived at the Kazarnika cave in Bulgaria. After 40,000 years, hunter-gatherers reached Xiaochonglang in the Nihewen Basin. 160,000 years later, the first Homininians populated the Iberian Peninsula, from Adapuerca in the north, to Barranco Leon in the south. After 200,000 years, Bali was inhabited. Some 150,000 years later, Homo erectus arrived at Monte Poggiolo in the Italian peninsula. After 50,000 years, hunter-gatherers inhabited Happysburg in Norfolk. Also, Homo erectus settled in the Bose Basin. Around that time, Homininians in the Kashafrid Basin made core chopper, simple flakes, and tools such as scrapers, notches, and borers. Some 25,000 years later, the Soanian culture, from the Sawalik Hills, manufactured tools on quartzite pebbles, cobbles, and occasionally on boulders. Within 25,000 years, hunter-gatherers lived in the Myanmar region. After 40,000 years, Homininians reached the Philippines. Within 10,000 years, the Homo erectus that dispersed across Europe and stayed in Africa evolved into Homo heidelbergensis. They were as tall as their predecessors, but had wide chests and were robust overall. They ate more big game, with meat becoming an essential dietary component. Around that time, Homo erectus crossed long distances on water and reached the Flores Island. 100,000 years later, caves are globally used for habitation. At the same time, hunter-gatherers settled in Mauer, Germany. After 100,000 years, Homo erectus inhabited the caves in Lang Son and Nguyen provinces in Vietnam. Meanwhile, Homininians reached the Korean peninsula. Around that time, Homo heidelbergensis known as the Saldanha Man, settled near Hopefield, South Africa. At the same time, Vertesolos, in the relatively warm and fertile Carpathian Basin, has been populated. Within 90,000 years, Homo erectus lived in the Longtandong Cave on the side of Wanziashan Mountain, in Hexian. After 75,000 years, Homo naledi, another Homo descendants who emerged in South Africa, were, like their ancestors, more arboreal than other Homo lineages. 
They consumed gritty foods in, while they were a bit taller than their ancestors, at 145 centimeters, 4.7 feet, they were still much shorter than the other contemporary Homo. 35,000 years later, due to advancements in fire management, use of fire at campsites became significantly more abundant. Campfires provided light and warmth, heat for cooking, served as beacons, and drove away insects and predators. Homininians have learned how to control fire, 